In this lesson, we're going to be covering transmission media and transmission technologies. Network media is this transmission media that I mentioned in the title slide there. The media is the mechanism that carries the signal and data across networks from the source node, the sender, to the destination node, the recipient. So very often these are cables of some sort, and in our wireless networks, we actually use the air as the transmission media. But let's dive into this and let's talk about these different types of transmission media right up front here. One aspect of the media that we're going to be exploring deals with the efficiency of the transmission. In other words, how far will the signal go before it degrades so much we can't understand it anymore? And the second aspect deals with the security aspects of the actual signal conveying across the media. So as you look at these different media types, it's a good thing to have in your mind what is the more secure and more efficient transmission media and what is the lesser secure and lesser efficient transmission media. Recognize that more secure and more efficient is almost always going to be more expensive. And the weaker media, the types that are very prone to data theft and data corruption due to interference and static and things along these lines, this is generally your cheaper type of media. So there's always going to be this trade-off. So let's dive into these five different types of transmission media, and we'll understand a little bit more about them and how they operate. The first one on the list here is considered to be the most secure because it has essentially no emanations. In other words, it's very, very difficult for a bad guy to steal your data signal as it conveys through the fiber optic cable. And it also is a very efficient transmission mechanism. In other words, it can go miles and miles before the signal degrades to a point where the receiver can't understand it. So what fiber optic cables actually use is light pulses. In other words, it's actually photons that are carrying the signal and the data. So if you want to think of it in very basic terms, think of when the light is on, that's a binary one. And when the light is off, that's a binary zero. And photons do not produce emanations. Now, what we're going to see in some of these later transmission media types is they use electrons to carry the data signal. Well, electrons have this phenomenon called emanation. And we'll dissect that in just a minute. But photons don't emanate. And as a result, they're considered to be the most secure. They are one of the most efficient media types and therefore they're one of the most expensive media types. We get very high data rates on fiber optic cables, gigabits of data, and therefore it's a very good vehicle to carry your signal to use as you connect your locations together across the city perhaps, or even within an office. Now typically it's more expensive than we want to spend within an office. The next one down on the list is coaxial cable. Now coaxial cable has been around for a long, long time. It's actually commonly used in your homes to carry your TV signal into the home from the cable provider. It is a center conductor that actually carries the data signal, but then wrapped all the way around that center conductor is a grounded sleeve or shield that helps to keep the signal contained within the coaxial cable. Now, as it holds that energy within, less energy leaks out. Therefore, the emanations, the security component of emanations is fairly strong. Difficult for a bad guy, not impossible though, but difficult for a bad guy to steal that signal without getting very close to the cable, perhaps even splicing into the cable itself. Coaxial cable uses electrons and radio frequency waves on that center conductor to convey the data within the signal. And again, it's these electrons and radio frequency waves push electrons around. And as these electrons flow through the cable, they actually emanate an electromagnetic field around the cable itself, outside in the air around the cable. Now that grounded shield around the coaxial cable tends to keep that collapsed and contained within the shield. However, some will still leak out. So it has very good emanation protection. And however, it still is not emanations free like fiber optic cable. Now, uh, there's another aspect of the emanations, and that is, if I can emanate a signal outbound, that says other signals in the area that are emanating might actually induce signal, which is corruption and interference on my signal within the coaxial cable. 
So these emanations from other sources can actually penetrate into the coaxial cable and start to degrade my signal due to this interference. So uh, coaxial cable is considered one of your better connection media for networks. The next one down on the list is shielded twisted pair and it's very close cousin, unshielded twisted pair. Now this is your standard ethernet. Your standard ethernet almost always uses UTP or unshielded twisted pair. Now these two are constructed approximately the same other than the shielded twisted pair has a sort of an aluminum foil wrapping, a conductive wrapping around the wires inside the ethernet cable. And it's called twisted pair because there are actually eight wires inside these cables. And we take one wire that's going to carry the data signal and a second wire that is going to be grounded. And we wrap the ground wire around the data wire. In other words, we twist them together as a pair. Now the grounded wire tends to disrupt this propagation of the emanated field around the data carrying wire. So as we're pushing a signal through that wire, we are using electrons to carry that signal, and those electrons, once again, propagate into the air. Well, again, the grounded wire that's wrapped around it will disrupt that magnetic field around the data-carrying wire, and we have some marginal shielding, if you will, because of this grounded wire. Now, the shielded twisted pair is a little bit better as far as emanation security are concerned, but it is more expensive and it's fairly difficult to work with. If you're building these cables, it's a real pain to build these cables. The unshielded twisted pair, hands down, has dominated the marketplace when it comes to connecting your networks together. So the UTP is by far the dominant technology network media that's used for corporate networks. Now, a very popular, relatively new entry into computer networks as a media is wireless networks. It uses radio frequency electromagnetic waves propagated into the air where the air is actually the media itself. And this means it is the least secure because it is nothing but emanations in the air, which means a bad guy with a receiver can listen to everything you're propagating across your network. That's why we have to take extremely high measures to secure our wireless networks. Because we don't have to buy cables and have cables run throughout the building, this is also the least expensive network media that we could implement as well. So it's very easy to assemble a wireless network. It's very easy to tear it down and move it, relocate it, etc. So the wireless networks are the least secure with nothing but emanations, but it is by far the cheapest approach when it comes to media because there's essentially no cost. We're using the air as the media. And again, as we said, these emanations allow for theft of data signal and also allow for inbound propagation of unwanted signal that tend to degrade the signal due to crosstalk and interference. Now, this term attenuation deals with a signal degradation over distance. We're going to look at that in just a few minutes.